just hours before tomorrow's primary election, 10 News has uncovered new information that DA Bonnie Dumanis wrote a college recommendation letter for the son of a Mexican tycoon indicted in a campaign finance scandal. Susumo Azano, a foreign national, is charged with illegally donating roughly $200,000 to Dumanis' failed bid for mayor in 2012. 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco is at the courthouse. Rachel, Azano's attorney spoke to you about the letter today. Kimberly, that attorney was here in federal court this afternoon. The judge did not release the letter, but one of Bonnie Dumanis' opponents says that this is proof that she was closer to Asano than she previously led on. I'm Bob Brewer. I'm running for district attorney. Have you voted yet? Bob Brewer spent Monday evening outside Petco Park passing out flyers. Earlier, the DA candidate was here in federal court trying to get a judge to release a letter written by his opponent, Bonnie Dumanis. It's a very important piece of evidence about her relationship with this man who gave her illegal money. That man is multi-millionaire Susumo Asano. It was revealed in court Monday that Dumanis wrote a letter of recommendation on official letterhead to the University of San Diego. It was a recommendation for Asano's son, seen here leaving one of his dad's previous court appearances. How well does she know him to write a letter of recommendation? Big question. The letter was dated September 2012, roughly three months after Dumanis lost the mayor's race. Asano is accused of funneling roughly 200000 to her mayoral campaign. Prosecutors said the donation was illegal because Asano is a foreign national. Dumanis said she knew nothing about it. She wouldn't comment on the letter Monday evening, but this was an interview she did with UTTV in January when the accusations first came out. My name is being drug, dragged through the mud because I met somebody. Uh, I had nothing to do with that committee. Brewer is filing a Freedom of Information request with the DA's office to try to get that letter. He says he would have come to court sooner, but he just found out that it even existed on Friday. Reporting live outside the federal courthouse, Rachel Bianco, 10 News. Rachel.